Wait, wait, wait. That's freaking incredible. What's up guys? Today we are in the Mojave Desert of California on our way from Las Vegas, which was a pretty fun night. And we've already got our first animal today, so... What kind of was that? I have no idea. It's Where to go? About a he sprinted. Alright, you wanna hold this? I'm gonna catch you real quick. Oh, he's, he's back. He went the it was like a uh, yellow-footed lizard. He's right there. I see that. That's a different one. Oh my... Oh, he's zooming! Ooh. Oh, that is definitely a sidewinder. It is, look at his movement. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it is a sidewinder. Yeah. He's trying to eat that. This right here is a sidewinder rattlesnake. It's one of the top snakes we wanted to see on this trip. Careful with your hand, Michael. 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 I understand. You can tell if you look closely on its on its top of its head, it has two horn-like, I guess like antennas. And it was just eating that uh, prairie dog or ground. It's a ground squirrel, I think, over there. Just incredible, honestly. And then he's not trying to strike. No, he's not because he knows it's not you. And if you look at the tail, it's going to give you a warning sign. But what's really cool about these snakes is the way they move across hot, um, hot sands of deserts. They don't move like other snakes. They go in a horizontal or yeah, horizontal manner, and only like less than a third of their bodies in contact with the sand at all times. So prevents them from getting hot and is a very efficient way to move around while you're in the desert. But uh, he's being really calm right now. I'm even gonna let go of him in a second. So if y'all wanna- You can see his meal over there. If y'all wanna back up. Yeah, he's eating that. Yeah, I'm gonna try and drag him more towards the middle. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Just so if he does escape, I still see him. But uh, just be careful. Wait, can you- uh... But once I let the snake go, he's gonna go super fast and it'll be awesome. He might even stay in his attack position. Let me go around this camera real quick. We're gonna go that way. Yeah, yeah we'll do. We're gonna get around so I can make sure there's nothing other snakes. Wait, wait, wait. But that's freaking incredible. Dude. Yeah, he's got venom on there. Yeah, I'm not. Don't touch the button. It's gonna be cool. Don't touch the button. Okay. I'm gonna go this way again. Oh no. Oh, he's wrapped up in my camera. Oh, oh there goes your camera too. You just won't be able to touch anything. Like normally guys, I would I would attempt to catch a snake, but it's just so dangerous. We're in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of the, the uh, Mojave Desert in California. Nobody else is around. The nearest hospital is probably miles, many miles away. Not even gonna try and do anything stupid. Just stay back and let him go. All right. See how fast it goes. Oh, wait, we can You can see the tie in the bottom. The I am, thing you tie You can see the way he moves. Oh, that is so cool. That's how he travels. That's how he travels. It's a very small one. Yeah, but he can go to high speed, so. so I want him to. You should grab him again and put him back next to his food. I mean, I'm sure he'll come well, back. Well, he he's going to come back. He's just right now trying to get away. This is like a perfect ideal size snake I would want to 
much. If you want to handle it, this is the perfect size, but I would It is, but I'm not going to do that because that's very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. It is incredible though. Look at that. Go good. Just going back to this food. He's curled up next to his food. He's in his attacking pose. You hear that rattle? It's your last warning before you get stricken. You can see him like inflate his body like that too. Now when we get a... We're about to off the cameras, Michael. Don't touch it. Just, you have to wipe it down with something. No, eat your food, buddy. He's, he's not. He's, going he's, 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 he's much he's more in defensive. Defensive yeah. mode right now. Yeah, that's the last of his work. All right, that was all. That's good for that stick. Hopefully, we'll see another one. That's probably medium size right there. The Mojave Desert has been incredible. We've already seen so many animals, especially the Sidewinder. We have even able to go hike to the top of the dunes, but on our way back when it got dark, Michael spotted a scorpion crawling next to him. And after doing some research, we found that it was a giant hairy scorpion, which is native to Arizona, and is the largest scorpion in North America, growing to five and a half inches, which is about the size of this one here. If you glance at the color, it blends in perfectly with the sand. It makes it incredibly hard to spot. And if you take a closer look, you can see all the fine hairs along the scorpion's body and the size of the stinger. The scorpion is venomous, although it's not potent enough to do any damage to humans, and the sting itself is about as painful as a honeybee's. Buddy. Look at him. Look at him hop. <laughs> So this is a kangaroo rat, they're very jumpy as you can tell, look at their feet. Wait, 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 that's what resembles um, the kangaroo rat, that's probably what they're called. They jump around like that, and very long tail. Found New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, and now the Mojave Desert of California. Pretty cool guys, first one I caught in several years. If y'all wanna hold them, y'all are more than yeah, welcome yeah. to. Hey buddy. Oh, it's amazing. You're such a cool guy. Mm -hmm. Very cute. I'm gonna get a picture of him. Yeah. And I also want to get a picture on my phone. You got it. Well, now it's recording. Right, you're you good. I'm good. Yeah. There he goes. Oh. Oh. Up away. Be safe. Stay away from those sidewinders. Hey buddy. Bye bye. Come on, go. Here you go. See you buddy.